In this week's episode of Tiny Tidy Tuesday, I will be doing my dish towel drawer and the cabinet underneath that has garbage bags and some other things. Last week, you saw me do my armoire. If you missed that, click the link below and watch that. If you're new to my channel, my name is Michelle and this is my everyday wife life. So I was doing my daily chores and I decided to go ahead and clean out the dish towel drawer. I was doing the dishes and just setting out something for dinner and let's get to it. I bought myself some new dish towels. I think it's been a couple of years, I'm not really sure, but some of the dish towels were looking kind of dingy, so, and I kind of wanted them to all look the same color. Doesn't exactly happen, but it's better, so. And I deserve to have some new dish towels every once in a while. I'm just taking everything out and sorting them and I decided what to keep and want to actually not throw away i'm going to put them in the garage and use them as rags eventually they will get th thrown away because they get nasty in the garage so in my dish towel drawer i use these spring loaded um, bamboo dividers you can find them on amazon i will try to remember to link them down below now this drawer needed the long ones i didn't buy the long ones so i ended up retrofitting them with some double-sided sticky tape anyway measure your drawers first before you buy things and i'm not a taker backer so i made i made them work if you want to join me on tuesdays and decluttering tiny little spaces in your home a drawer a cabinet a closet i have a free checklist for you 52 weeks of decluttering if you do one cabinet one drawer one closet each week, that's 52 spaces that you have will have decluttered throughout the year. Check the link below. Let's end up taking everything out and that piece goes to something, not sure what, part of the cabinet. And I just take everything out so I can wipe it clean. It's actually not that dirty, but while I'm at it, I might as well wipe it down. in here and hand towels we tend to not use paper towels although since my son's been here he likes to use paper towels anyway so we use uh, the small towels to wipe our hands and stuff and I also have the drying mats in there which I can't stand it's always on the counter I need a better solution I want to find a dish drainer for my sink and not have dishes that I have to hand wash on the counter all the time all right so those are all the ones that I am getting rid of well they're gonna go in the garage Okay, now I'm getting my handy dandy stool so I can sit on that and do the cabinet underneath which has garbage bags and extra hand towels, drying mats which I end up getting rid of and then it has some oven cleaner and stove top cleaner and yeah and paper towels. So I haven't used these other drying mats in years, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of them. I bought the Pioneer Woman um, ones a couple years ago, so I don't need them. And then extra towels in there, and then extra dish drainers, and I'm going to sort through. These are where I was keeping some decorative towels for seasonal, and I end up actually putting more in there in another video because I clean out my linen closet. So I'm just straightening that all up too. These baskets that I have in this cabinet, I also have them in my other cabinets. They work really well when you don't have pull-out drawers. I would love to have all drawers in my whole kitchen, but that's not an option right now. And there's something in the back there. Oh yeah, I crocheted a dishcloth. It didn't work out. I don't really like them, so I'm not going to be doing that again. I'm just going to clean off the shelf, which really isn't that dirty. Particular baskets have held up very well. I've had them, I want to say for at least five years. They are from Target. Very sturdy. I recommend them. They can be maybe more than you want to pay, but um, you know, also the Y weave baskets are great from Target too. Those work well and they are sturdy too. Okay, I keep my garbage bags in this bottom basket. I take them out of the box that they came in and put them in there. I do put one roll of garbage bags in the drawer by the garbage can put things where you use them but the extra ones are put here i'm just cleaning out underneath and putting the cleaners up there in that long basket small basket up top and 
Is it dirty? Do I need to clean it or not? <laughs> did see in a short clip of somebody did on their shorts on their YouTube channel that you can feed the um, garbage bag through the um, a little hole in the basket there, the handle there, and then pull it off and get a garbage can that that way garbage bag that way but i just like to put them here by in my knife drawer i know it doesn't make sense but it makes sense to me because the garbage can is right there it's just easy peasy put things where you use them That we always keep one roll of paper towels on the counter. I don't really like that, but it is what it is. Anyway, and I do, I don't think I show you, but I do end up getting the rest of the paper towels in the laundry room where I keep a lot of my cleaning supplies and putting them there. And it also frees up space in there because I need to redo all the cleaning supplies in my laundry room eventually. And remember in the previous video, I said I needed to tighten the knobs on these uh cabinets so i'm just doing these and i actually want to replace them how long i've been saying that i have some ones in the guest bathroom that i really like if home depot still has them i replace them but i kind of did price them out i need like 25 knobs and 20 something drawer pulls yeah it's gonna be like a couple hundred dollars so but it, they are more modern looking in the guest bathroom so We'll see if that gets done. So I decided to keep the bottom of the glass sprayer drawer thing in case I need it and showing you my junk drawer needs to be cleaned out and then this COVID drawer needs to be cleaned out too. I want to put my tool bag in there so I have easy access for it. Right now is in the laundry room and putting all the towels in the garage and debating whether I should keep these or not. I really need some more bar mops. I might get some of those. These are looking pretty bad. That's what I wipe the counters with. We'll see keep this large dish towel here on the knob to dry our hands with instead of using paper towels all the time but it does happen and tiny tiny tuesday is brought to you by sunday dawn at the helpful home it is a collab she puts together every week with a bunch of other youtubers so a playlist will be down below so be sure to watch the playlist when you're done watching my video and go on over to her channel and subscribe decide to keep some of the smaller um dish towels to wipe our hands with but there's not any room so i'm looking for some more room i did was able to fix the um clear plastic bin to the side of the cabinet so i'm putting the microfiber claws in there i'm gonna take out the dish drain pluggy thingy and put it in the other cabinet did you know that you can throw those in the dishwasher? I tried to do that once a week. I seen somebody cleaning it with one of those steam cleans machine thingies. I'm like, yeah, just throw it in the dishwasher. And go ahead and throw your sponge in the dishwasher every time you run it too. Because according to Denise Jordan at This and That with Denise Jordan, you're supposed to throw those things away every two weeks. Yeah. Do you do that? Okay, my daily chores routine is going pretty well. If you missed that video, you might want to check that out. I showed you a week of daily chores. So just setting out the rest of dinner to be prepared and not now in a couple hours. <laughs> and coming up in two weeks is my linen closet. But next week, I'm hoping to do a special Valentine's declutter of my entryway and decorate it. Some of the things need to be decluttered in there. If you're new to my channel, click my face right there and subscribe. And there's two videos here. And don't forget to watch the playlist. Until next time, guys, enjoy your day.